Hello dear students, how are you doing? Uh, from today and onwards, we will try to revise some selected topics from grade 11 and grade 12 lessons. For today, we will start from grade 12 unit 1 uh, lesson sequence and series. From that part, we specially focus on the sigma notation and partial sums. So the sigma notation in partial sum. After uh, completing uh, this lesson, uh, you are expected to use the sigma notation for sums. And in addition to that, uh, you identify the properties of summation notation. And after that, you will try to apply the properties of summation notation to evaluate sums. Okay, so let's continue the lesson. The Greek letter uh, sigma, uh, often called this letter, the Greek letter sigma often called this summation symbol. And we uh, use this summation notation uh, to write sums uh, in a very compact form. So this summation notation symbol uh, is used to write the general term of the sequence. You may have a general term of the sequence uh, and using that and using this symbol together uh, we'll try to uh, write the sum in a very short or a compact form. So let's see how to use this uh, summation symbol. This summation symbol together with the general term of this sequence assumes the general term of sequence is AK and this summation symbol. Using these two together, you write the sum out like this. So the summation of AK, K starts from 1 up to N, is uh, written in this form. So it is A1 plus A2 up to AN. The meaning of this one, the meaning of this one means add the terms of uh, this sequence starting from 1 up to n. So this lengthy summation is written in very short form like this. This is a summation of a k. k starts from 1 up to n. So uh, in this uh, summation notation, we call this k uh, an index. k is it is index. k is index. And this one, this one we call this the lower limit. And n is it is the upper limit. So for the sequence, if we have this sequence, k, k start from 1 up to infinity, if we have this sequence, uh, the n is partial sum. The n is partial sum, that means the sum of the first n terms, that means. Uh, so the, the n is partial sum is denoted by the symbol Sn, Sn, and it's given by and it's given by Sn is equal to it is a1 plus a2 up to a n. That means Sn add the sum of the first n terms of that sequence. So starting from first one, a1 plus a2 up to a n. So when you add this or when you write this in a very compact or in short form, you can use the summation symbol. So the summation of a k, k start from 1 up to n. Is it? So simply, uh, the summation or the sigma notation is this it's a merely shorthand notation of a sum or it writes the sum in a very compact form. 
thus it is simply C use. So let's proceed to the next part. Now let's see the properties of uh, sigma notation. Now the first property here is, is the summation of C times AKK starts from 1 up to N is given by C times the summation of AKK starts from 1 up to N where C is, is a constant. Now let's try to prove this uh, property. Now to prove this property, let's start from this one, proof. The summation of C times AK, K starts from 1 up to N, 1 up to N, this is equal to, this equal to, simply this means it is uh, add the terms of the sequence starting from the first term up to n term. So put 1 first uh, in place of k, you get this one. c times a1 plus next term, c times a2 plus the next term, it goes on like this, it goes on like this up to c times uh, the n term, the n term. So this is it. So from this, you can factor C outside of this sum. Uh, so C times, this quality is A1 plus A2 plus, plus up to AN. This is it. So from this, you can see that this it is, this it is the sum of uh, AK, K start from 1 up to N. So this equal to uh, C times the summation of AK, K starts from K starts from 1 up to N. So this completes the proof. So simply you can prove the property. Now let's continue to the second property. Second property, the summation of AK plus BK where K start from 1 up to N is equal to summation of AK, K starts from 1 up to N plus the summation of BK, K starts from 1 up to N. Uh, so this means summation proper, so summation notation can, just be, can be distributed to, uh, can be distributed over addition. This means the summation of AK plus BK is equal to this one. So uh, let's prove this property. Proof. The summation of AK plus BK, K starts from 1 up to N, this equal to, this equal to, so this means add the terms of this sequence starting from 1 up to N term. So this equal to this A1 plus A1 plus B1 plus the next term, when you put 2 here, you get this one, it is a2 plus A2 plus B2 plus it goes on up to the n star. The n star means it is uh, An An plus An plus Bn. So this is equal to you can separate A1 plus A2 plus up to An and B1 plus B2 up to Bn. So I can write this in this form. It is A1 plus A2 plus plus up to An, the first part, A's part, and plus uh, the B's part, this is B1 plus B2 plus up to Bn. Therefore, this is equal to, this is equal to, this means it is the summation of AK, K starts from 1 up to N, plus uh, this one is it is the summation of BK, K starts from 1 up to N. So this completes the proof. So simply you can see that summation notation is distributive over addition. So this is it. Now uh, let's proceed to, let's proceed to the third property, third property. The third property, 
is uh, similar to the first to the second one, summation of AK minus BK. Uh, this is equal to T, the summation of AK minus summation of BK, where K starts from 1 up to N. So I hope you can prove this easily by yourself, similar to the second one. So I'll leave this property for you, simply. Uh, summation notation is this, distributive over subtraction. Now let's continue to the fourth property. The fourth property here says, the summation of AK, K starts from uh, 1 up to N is given by the summation of AK, K starts from 1 up to N plus the summation of AK, K starts from M plus 1 up to N, where this M is between 1 and N. Let's see the proof of this uh, property. Proof. The summation of AK, K starts from 1 up to N, this is equal to, this can be written as, a1 plus a2 plus plus up to am. I can write like this. And then plus next to m's term is this m plus 1's term. So this is am plus 1's term plus the next term am plus 2's term plus it goes on up to the n's term. So I can write this in this form. So from this you can see that this one is it is the summation of a k where k starts from one up to m. I can write like I, I can write this in this form. This is equal to that is the summation of a k k starts from one up to up to m. It's m term. So plus plus uh, this part, this part is, this part is, it is also the summation of a k where k starts from, it starts from m plus 1 term and in that's the n term. So I can write this in this form. This is, it is the summation of, it is a k where k starts from m plus 1 term. K starts from M plus 1 term to N term. So this completes the proof. Now let's proceed to the other property of summation notation. Uh, the next property is the summation of C where K starts from 1 of the N given by NC. Let's see this one. By the way, the N. Uh, general term of this sequence is C. It is a constant. The general term of uh, uh, this sequence is this C. So the general term is this C. This means this means the first term is C. Second term is C. All terms are C. So now let's try to add uh, uh, these terms starting from the first term. So let's proceed to the proof. The summation of C where k starts from 1 up to n, this is equal to, this is equal to, the first term is c, second c, so the first term is c, it's constant, constant, the general term is constant, so the first term is c, plus second term c, plus third term c, plus n term is also c. So, how many c's do we have here? We have n c's. Therefore, this will be t s n times c. Therefore, the summation of c where k star from 1 up to n is simply is n c where c is constant. Now, let's see uh, another property of uh, the summation notation. Okay, so the sixth property is simply it is. The summation of C, where K starts from M term up to N term. In this case, simply we have to count how many C's do we have. So 
starting from m and up to n means the number of term is simply it is the difference of the two plus one uh, for example let me show you this through example uh, for example if we have this look the summation of uh, let's take summation of c where uh, k starts from 2 up to 5. If you take this, this means add this term is starting from the second term up to fifth term. The first term is excluded. So in this case, simply this means it is the first, uh, if you write from starting from first term, c plus c plus how many c's? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is if you start for, from the first term. But in this case, k starts from 1. The first term is, is not included. So we have four terms. We have four terms. So simply it is 4c in this case. Therefore, easily you can uh, count the number of terms by just simply subtracting the two. 5 minus 2 plus 1. It is 5 minus 2 plus 1 times c. This is 5 minus 3, 3 plus 1, it is 4, 4 C. So the summation of C where K starts from uh, 2 up to 5 is it is 4 C. So generally, generally, the summation of C, summation of C, where uh, K starts from M, M up to N is given by this uh, formula. Simply take the difference of the index, add 1 and multiply by C. So this is a proof. Now, uh, let's continue to the other part. Okay, let's see examples. Uh, let's try this one. Let's start from this. Evaluate uh, each of the following. Some, let's start from this one. The summation of 2n, where n starts from 1 up to 8. Let's see this one together first. Uh, solution for the first one. The summation of the summation of 2n, where n starts from 1 up to 8, this is given as is equal to you can take out using the property of summation, you can take out the constant outside the summation. So uh, take outside 2, so 2 times the summation of n, where n starts from 1 up to 8. So this is equal to 2 times. Uh, put 1 here, just add the terms starting from 1. So when you put 1, this term becomes 1, 2, plus up to 8. So when you add this, you get this result. The sum of these numbers is 36 times 2. So the sum will be this, 72. This is the answer. Now uh, let's proceed to uh, the second example, B. Okay, let's see this one. Uh, uh, let me give you uh, almost 40 seconds to try this one for you. So try this and we'll do it together. Okay, so let's continue together. Uh, the summation of 5k minus 4, where k starts from 3 up to 10, this is uh, equal to, is equal to, uh, using the property of summation, uh, this summation it can be distributed over subtraction. So, summation of 5k, where k starts from 3 up to 10, 
minus the summation of 4, where k starts from 3 up to 10. So this is equal to, you can take 5 outside from the summation. The constant can be factored out from the summation. So it is 5 times the summation of k, where k starts from 3 up to 10, minus this one itself, summation of 4, where k starts from 3 up to 10. Let's continue. So uh, this equal to it is 5 times. Here, you have to uh, focus. It's k start from 3. So you put 3 and up to 10. So uh, 3 plus the next term is 4. You put 4 here. 4 plus up to 10. You have this minus the summation of this constant number, if you remember. Uh, summation of C, or constant number, uh, to, f to find the number of terms is simply take the difference of these indexes, 10 minus 3, and you add 1. 10 minus 3 is this 7 plus 1, 8. We have 8 fourths here. So simply it is 10 minus 3 plus 1 times 4. So the result will be uh, 5 times, if you add these numbers, you get 52. You can check at the end of the lecture. Uh, minus, uh, this will be this 4 times this one is 8. So the result will be it is, this one is 260 minus uh, 32. The final answer will be this 228. Now, uh, let's continue to the third uh, example. Okay, this one. Uh, the summation of 2k squared, k starts from 1 up to 4. So let me give you for this uh, 40 seconds. Let's try this question. We'll do it together. Okay, now let's do it together. Uh, the summation of 2k squared where k starts from 1 up to 4, this is equal to, you can take 2 outside from summation, 2 times the summation of this k squared where k starts from 1 up to 4. So this is equal to, take 2 outside, and then the summation of k squared, where k starts from 1. So you put 1 in first thing. So 1 squared, when you put 2, it is 2 squared. Up to 4 term, it is 4 squared. So uh, this will be equal to 2 times. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 9, and 16. So when you add this, you get uh, this result. 2 times the sum of these numbers is, it is 30. 2 times 30 is this. 60. So this is the final answer. Uh, the fourth example, the summation of this, the logarithm of n plus 1 over n, the base 3, where n starts from 1 up to n6. So uh, to find this sum, uh, let's, let's, let's do it together. Let's do together this question. Uh, first, when you put 1 here, you have 2 over 1, logarithm of 2 over 1, the base 3. Plus, when you put 2 here, it is the logarithm of 3 over 2 in base 3. Plus, when you put 2, 3, 3 plus 1, it is 4, 4 over uh, 3. The logarithm of 4 over 3 to the base 3. Plus, it goes on like this. So, uh, when you put 25 here, 
the logarithm of 26 over 25. And finally, when you put 26, you have this one. Uh, 26 plus 1 is 27 over 26. So the logarithm of 27 over 26 to the base 3. So we need to add these uh, numbers. So to add these numbers, uh, you have to remember uh, the properties of logarithm. So using that, uh, you can uh, evaluate this. The logarithm of 2 over 1 to the base 3 means uh, division can be converted into subtraction. So uh, this is this logarithm of 2 to the base 3 minus logarithm of 1 to the base 3, this one, plus this will be this, the logarithm of 3 minus the logarithm of 2 in base 3, plus it goes on like this up to the last term, this one, the logarithm of 27 in the base 3 minus the logarithm of 26 in base 3. So uh, when you add this, look, when you add this, uh, this term, logarithm of 2 to the base 3, cancel with this one, the opposite. And logarithm of this term, the logarithm of 3 to the base 3, is cancelled by this term, the opposite. If you just continue like this, look, look this one, this term, the logarithm of 26 in base 3 is cancelled by the logarithm of 26 in base 3. So this term will be cancelled, uh, the term uh, ahead of it, and here lo this also will be cancelled. Uh, we ha will have this one, logarithm of 4 the base 3 on the next term, we have the uh, logarithm of 5 in base 3 minus the logarithm of 4 in base 3, so uh, this will be cancelled here. So the remaining terms will be uh, this one, the last term, this. Uh, we don't have a term that cancels this logarithm of 27 in base 3, and we don't have the term that cancels this one also. So the remaining terms are these two. So this means it is the answer of B is the logarithm of 27 in base 3 minus the logarithm 1 in base 3. So this will be the answer. So this one, it is logarithm of 1 in base 3. It is 0, logarithm of 1 in base 3. Uh, this will be it is logarithm of 3 to the power of 3 in base 3, this one. So uh, 3 to the power of 3. This will be this, the logarithm of 3 to the power of 3 in base 3. So using logarithm property, you can take this 3 uh, in front of log. So this 3, the logarithm of 3 in base 3. Logarithm of 3 in base 3 is 1. So the answer will be this, 3 times 1 is 3. So the final answer will be this, 3. So this is it. Now let's see one more additional example for uh, this property of summation uh, notation. Now, let's see this one. Look this. Uh, let the summation of uh, a k where k starts from 9 up to 10 t is given it is 4 t. And the summation of negative 5 plus 4 a k, k start from 1 up to 20, is given to be it is 200. Then you are asked to evaluate this one. What is the value of the summation of a k where k starts from 1 up to 8? So to solve this, uh, we need the property of uh, summation uh, of summation notation. So uh, let's see this one. Look, to solve this problem, we have summation from k up to 20. Summation from k 9 up to 20. So we are asked to find summation of a k 1 up to 8. So uh, the property I must use to solve this problem is in this form. The summation of the summation of a k k starts from one up to twenty. This is equal to the summation of 
a k k starts from one up to eight we need this one up to eight plus the summation of a k k starts from nine next term one up to eight the next term is nine term nine up to twenty so we know this property Using this property, I can find this one. We are asked to find what this, the summation of AK. K starts from 1 up to 8. Uh, here, we have this one, the summation of, uh, okay, summation of AK. K starts from 9 up to 20 is given. The summation of AK, K starts from 9 up to 20, this is noun, this is noun. And we need to find this one. But this is not noun. The summation of a k k starts from 1 up to 20. But here, here, the summation of negative 5 plus 4 a k k starts from 1 up to 20 is given. So from this, from this, I can find, I can find the summation of a k. So let's start from this one. After finding summation of a k, k starts from 1. We, we will have this uh, result. So after that, we know these two, so I can calculate this. So let's proceed uh, from this, from this part. Let's start, let's try to find first the summation of AK. K starts from 1 up to 20. So the summation of negative 5 plus 4 AK, where K starts from 1 up to 20 is given. It is 200 from this. We'll try to find this. Uh, so to solve this one, this implies uh, using the property of summation, this can be distributed over the two. So the summation of negative 5, where k star from 1 up to 20, plus the summation of uh, 4ak, where k star from 1 up to 20 is equal to 200. So from this, we know this property is a constant. So uh, the, the sum of this means we have uh, take the difference of 2, 20 minus 1, 19 plus 1, 20. We have 20 negative 5s, so this will be this negative 100, negative 100. So, or negative 5 times 20 plus, you can take 4 outside from the summation, 4 times the summation of a k, where k star from 1 of 20, this is equal to 200. So, from this, uh, the summation of this result, the summation of 4 times a k where k star from 1, uh, 1 up to 20, this equal to, we have 200 here, this is negative 100, so put the other side and the result will be 300. So the summation of, to find this summation of a k, divide both sides by 4, you get this result. When you divide by 4, the summation of a k, k star from 1 up to 20 is equal to 300 divided by 4, it is 75. Now, so we have this one. Uh, we have the summation of a k, k star from 9 up to 20. We have the summation of a k, k star from 1 up to 20. So we can find easily the summation of a k, where k starts from 1 up to 8. So the summation of this, a k, k star from 1 up to 20 means the summation of k, k star from 1 up to 8, plus the summation of a k, k star from 9 up to 20. So this implies, we know this one, or we have found this uh, to be 75, 75, this is equal to uh, the summation of a k, k star from 1 up to 8, it's not known, we need to find it. So uh, summation of a k, k star from 1 up to 8, plus uh, the summation of a k, k star from 9 up to 20 is given, it is 40. This is plus 40. So uh, from this, from this, the summation of a k, k starts from 1 up to 8. This is equal to, take 4 to 40 to this side, you will have 75 minus 40. So the 75 minus 40 is equal to 35. So this will be the final answer. So uh, this is uh, all about uh, today's lesson. Uh, until uh, next lecture, please uh, try uh, these uh, questions, this exercise. 
So until uh, next lecture, goodbye.